Hey everybody, I'm Damon Johnson, and I'd like to talk to you today about these amazing crafter guitars that I've been playing for the past several years. But before I begin, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. In 1990, I started a band called Brother Kane, and we were signed to Virgin Records three years later. Over the course of eight years, we released three albums and toured with everybody from Van Halen to Aerosmith to Leonard Skinner, to name just a few. After Brother Kane ended, I wrote some songs that wound up on albums by Stevie Nicks, Sammy Hagar, and Carlos Santana. I also continued to perform as a solo artist and as a member of the country group Whiskey Falls. And then for five of the past seven years, I've been busy touring the world as Alice Cooper's lead guitar player. Now, I'm not giving you my musical resume to brag, but really to illustrate that I've been a working musician for over 20 years. And over those years, I found myself in a wide variety of musical situations. Because of that, I rely on all the gear that I use to not only sound great, but to handle the needs of a real world working musician, uh, one who plays guitar to earn a living and to feed his family. The full body, warm acoustic tone that you hear from a crafter is what inspired me to pick up my first one almost eight years ago. The roadworthiness, attention to detail, and down home family vibe of the company itself is what has kept me reaching for my crafter every time I've needed a great sounding acoustic guitar. Now over the course of this video, we're gonna cover a couple of different things. First, we're gonna explore the history of crafter guitars and take a look at a few of the different styles of guitars that they make. And then, for those of you that might be new to playing guitar, we're gonna cover some of the basics that you'll need to get started having fun and picking around on your crafter guitar.